So, Beat Saber just had the 1.18 update, which brought in the Billie Eilish music pack with a beautiful environment, but it also broke every mod. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install and update custom mods for Beat Saber 1.18. If you need help or have any questions after this tutorial, go down and leave a comment and I will try my best to answer as many as I can. Now I'll have links to everything that I go to in the description of the video, but the first thing we want to do is go up into any browser and type mod assistant. Once you have that typed in, just click on the first link, scroll down to this big mod assistant logo, press download here, and then you want to download and click the mod assistant exe. And that'll start downloading right down here. Once that is done downloading, you can just minimize the screen and drag this onto your desktop. Once you have it downloaded onto your desktop, just open it up. And this little window will show up. Just press more information and then run anyway. Then this little screen will pop up. Could not detect your Beat Saber install folder. Please select it manually. So there are two locations where you'll have the Beat Saber install folder one on Oculus and one from Steam. Go down here to press OK and then locate your Beat Saber install folder. On the screen right now, I'll have the file paths for the Oculus and Steam VR installation folder. So mine is in Oculus, so I will go to Windows, Program Files, scroll down to Oculus, Software, Software again, and then open Beat Saber, and this is the Beat Saber folder where you'll have the Beat Saber data, uh, plugins if you've updated this before, playlists, and just all of this. So once you've found your folder, just go down here and press save, and you are now able to use Mod Assistant. So you can read over this, right here it says mods will break every update, this is just normal, it's not the game's fault. When you're ready to continue, just go down here and press I agree, and you are now able to use the mods tab. So just go up here to the top left, and here are all the mods that you can download. Just as a side note, all the mods that have been on Beat Saber aren't on here yet. They need to be updated by the people who make them, so it takes a little time for them to get onto Mod Assistant. Say you want to download Noodle extensions or Chroma in the gameplay section, uh, they're not on here yet because they aren't officially updated, so you might just have to come back here uh, every other day or so and see if they're updated, and then click them. In order for you to have mods though, you will need the core mods up here, all the ones that are listed and checked off. You don't really necessarily need Camera 2, but since I make videos, I will enable Camera 2. It just makes the whole game a lot smoother from the video part. So just like I did with Camera 2, you can check off any other mods on this mod tab that you want to install onto Beat Saber. Once you checked off all the mods that you want, just go down here to the bottom right and press install or update. And that'll update and install all the mods. Once it's finished installing, all the mods that you checked off should have the screen number next to them and a little uninstall button over here. So if the game gets laggy at any point, you can just go back into Mod Assistant and uninstall these whenever you want. Another backup too is you can go over to the option menu and actually put in your install folder. For some reason this doesn't automatically show up, all you need to do is just select folder. It should open up the Beat Saber install folder that you opened the open up mod assistant. So then just press save and then it should save in here. Now with that you are done in mod assistant and what we can do now is go back to your Beat Saber install folder. Here are where all of your mods are going to be. And in here are all of the old plugins that I've used. Just as a backup to make sure all the mods are installed, go down here to the IPA, open that up, and then press the enter key to make sure all the mods are officially installed onto Beat Saber. Now that you went through that, all the mods that you downloaded from Mod Assistant should be on Beat Saber 1.18. Just open up Beat Saber and they should be ready to go. Now that we have all the mods installed for Mod Assistant, you can go back to your Beat Saber install folder, open the plugins folder, and this is where you can see all the DLL files and the plugin files for Beat Saber. This folder is going to be important if you want to add or install any other mods to Beat Saber, and I'll show you how you can do that right now. 
Now where's another place where you can download and install mods for Beat Saber? That is where you will find the Beat Saber modding discord. This basically is a place all related to Beat Saber. We have mapping discussion, test plays, but the one that we really want to focus on is the PC Mods tab. Now if you go into the PC Mods tab, you'll see all this information about what the mod tab is. And if you keep on scrolling down, this is where all the mods are that you can download that the community has made. And let's say you want to download one of these mods. How do you actually go about doing that? So let's just scroll, see what good mods there are to download. Let's do Saber Factory. This one's a really good one. So it'll say what version it is, 1.16.4 through 1.18. So this is good. Just make sure it's at 1.18 for all the other mods. It'll give you a little description about the mod up here. Now go down and click either one of these links. It doesn't really matter. It'll open up a GitHub page. So here it is, Saber Factory 2.3.7, released 12 hours ago. Go down here to the Saber Factory zip file and download that. Now that the zip is downloaded, just click open file. And here is where the Saber Factory DLL is. Go back to your Beat Saber install folder, open up the plugins folder, go back to the Saber Factory zip, click on the DLL and just drag it into the plugins folder. Go out of the plugins folder, press the IPA, press the enter button and custom sabers should now be installed. Now you will need a custom sabers folder in order for the sabers to actually appear in Beat Saber. It should automatically show up with one. Uh, I'm not sure if it will just automatically show up once you put the plugin in or you have to start Beat Saber first. But either way, there will be a custom sabers folder. If it still doesn't show up, you can just right click, press new folder and then name it custom folder. Yeah, I mean custom sabers. If you go into your custom sabers folder, this is where you put in all of your files for the custom sabers. Now, if you don't know where to find some good sabers for Beat Saber, I would highly recommend going to Model Saber. This website has a bunch of avatars, platforms, blocks, but also sabers where you can download and put into your custom sabers folder. Let's say you want to download this saber right here. Just open that up and press download. The file will download down here. Then once it's done downloading, open up your custom sabers folder, just drag it in there and it should be uploaded there. Now that you have all the files put in for the custom mod from the discord, all you need to do is just open up the game and it should be loaded in game. So there you go guys, that is how you download and install custom mods for Beat Saber 1.18. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I will try my best to answer as many as I can. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!